Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we will be doing another box unboxing. Um, this is going to be for my unplugged adult box for July 2023. I was planning on filming a review today, but today is the day after my birthday and I am just so exhausted from everything. Um, we went and we stayed in the Chelsea Hotel, which is one of the most haunted hotels in New York. It was beautiful. We went and saw a little shop of horrors and we went and dined at La Avenue and had drinks at Lobby Bar and it was just awesome. Um, but I just didn't sleep that well and I'm going to attribute it to the fact that I am convinced that that hotel is haunted. Um, but I'm like exhausted today. <laughs> um, so instead of doing a book review where I really, really, really need to think, <laughs> I'm just going to do an unboxing because this box showed up at my door today and that seems fitting. Um, for those of you guys who do not know, Unplugged is a monthly subscription box. It retails for $39.99 every single month, plus shipping and handling. To me, it comes out to about $49 and change. Um, actually, that's a lie. I think with taxes and stuff, it's gone up now. It's like $52. Um, but I will say that this box showed up much faster than many of my more recent Unplugged things. Um, I think they have finally figured out like the shipping issues that they've been having. So I'm very, very pleased with this. This came in like less than 10 days. They used to show up in two days and then it's been like 10 days or over. And this showed up in about like six or seven, I wanna say. Um, but I'm very excited about this. For those of you guys who do not know, Unplugged is a monthly subscription book box and self-care box that pairs reading with self-care. Um, I adore it. I've been subscribed to it for like three years now. They've been doing like limited edition um, covers or like versions of their books now. Um, which to me makes the box even more worth it. So we're gonna open her up and dive in. Now I will say, I don't remember what the spoiler was for this month's box, but I did see the spoiler for um, the upcoming Twisted Retreat box and I'm so excited for it. And Twisted Retreat and Unplugged are owned by the same people. Um, so very, very excited for that. Okay, so right on top we have this thing that just says professional excellent quality. I'm assuming this is a bowl. I know they were doing like a series of collectible bowls. Yes, this is. Let's see what's in here. The last one I think was Outlander. And this is, it looks like something Greek. There's a little dude in like a toga talking to a woman, ignore my ugly nail. Um, but I don't know what this is. It's pretty though. It's the same style as the last bowl that they gave us. Also very reminiscent in style of the teacups they did last year, which I thought were fantastic. Um, so there we go. Not as excited about these as I was about the teacups, but they are very pretty. Okay, we seem to have something from Fiction Bath Co. And it's a body spray and the scent is Beach Read, which is green tea, white musk, and sea salt see how this smells. I, I don't get beach and I don't get books, but I understand where it's coming from. It's like this like weird, like kind of sea salty must like book must smell. I like it. I don't know if I quite understand the name of it. I like the intention behind it, but it, it's a fine scent. Okay. We have our little spoiler QR code. We have whatever this is. Ooh, there's something inside of it. All right, let's go with what's inside of it first. Is this also from Fiction Bath Co? Let's see, it looks like a roll-on perfume. It's from Natural Pure Honest, who I also very much like. Let's open this up though. Okay, so this is the Midnight Library and it is Old Books, Lemongrass and Magic. It is a perfume roller. Ooh, this is really nice. The lemongrass is really strong in that. I think it's interesting that they gave us a perfume and a body spray. While I'm not like mad at either of these items, I feel like putting them in the same box is a little strange because we kind of use them for the same thing. Maybe this has been a linen spray. This smells better, but that's just me. All right, let's go back to this big thing. I think this is a bookcase, like a, a book slip, book cover. It says, a room without books is like a body without a soul. Very pretty, so we have it with the words over here, and then on the back we have um, the same design, but without the words, and you can see, I think this is like, 
the white tree of Gondor up here. Are there any other Easter eggs that are easy to spot? I think this is an image that we've gotten before on like a blanket or like a diamond dot project because over here is like the Game of Thrones sword and then over here is like the the rose from Beauty and the Beast. I feel like I've seen this before. Um, I think this was the design of like was it a blanket? I don't remember. I've definitely seen this design before and I don't think it was as purple. But I love book cases, um, or book slips, book covers, whatever you want to call them. This feels like very nice and sturdy and waterproof. It's like imitation leather and then it has like this like kind of lining in the middle. The books probably won't get wet if it's raining, which is always nice because it has been pouring in New York recently. Okay, so then we have two more things that I can see. And one of them are bookends, and they seem Egyptian in theme. I love these types of bookends. I think they're so practical. Um, okay, it says, it's the possibility of having a dream come true that makes life interesting. That's what this side says. And then this is what we have. I mean, obviously, I have to pair these together, right? Like, somehow that has to happen on this bookshelf. But interesting, I don't know what fandom this is. I'm assuming it's vast, right? Yeah, it's gotta be vast. Okay, anyway, so let's go to our book, and then we'll go through the spoiler card and figure out what all of these fandoms are. All right, oh God, I, this book also just looks this is so bookish. I know that I think the theme for this month was like general bookish, like bibliophile or something like that. And I could just tell by the design on this book that is trapped in shrink wrap that I'm going to like love the general tone of this. Okay, so it's The Borrow, a bookshop holiday. Spelled very strangely, it's like the borrow a uh, bookshop holiday that threw me off. Um, by Kylie Dunbar, um, and it looks like it's going to be designed to be a beach read. But what I love about this right off the bat is just the just rows of books on the stenciled edges. Let's open her up, and then it just really goes into a book lover's dream on the inside flap, which is the same on both sides. So then we'll take this off. Oh, this is cute. I like that it's white. I don't think we've had one that's like all white before. And it looks like the inside of like a coffee shop and then like a, a book shop. I don't know. Um, and then it says the borrow a bookshop holiday. Again, weird title. Really, really wish the name of the book was on the cover of the book, but that is okay. There's nothing on the inside. Oh. There's nothing on the inside flap. Sometimes they do that for us. Let's see what this is about. This looks cute and happy. The last two books that I feel like we've gotten from Unplugged uh, did not look cute or happy. They looked very serious and sad. So let's see. Oh, okay. This is such a confusing title. The name of the bookshop in the novel is The Borrow a Bookshop. Okay, that's a word I can't say, burrow. The Borough a Bookshop Bookshop Cafe invites literature lovers to run their very own bookshop for a fortnight. Spend your days talking books with customers in your own charming bookshop and serving up delicious cream teas in the cozy cafe. They're cream teas again. Why is that a thing? Bookworms, what are you waiting for? Your holiday is going to be lit literary. That's awful. Apply to Borrow a Bookshop Bookshop Cafe. It is Borrow. Do I not know how to spell Borrow? I don't know how to spell Borrow. I mean, I thought that's what it said, and then I was looking at it, and it's just spelled so weird. Borrow. God. I promise. I, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Apply to the Borrow a Bookshop Bookshop Cafe down along Clove Lord Devon. That's an address. Okay. So this is going to be in, I think, Britain. Jude Crawley should be on top of the world. She's just graduated as a mature student, so can finally go public about her relationship with philosophy professor Mack. Unless she sees Mac, until she sees Mac kissing another girl and her dreams crumble. And worse, their dream holiday running a tiny bookshop in the harbor village of Clove Lore for two weeks is non-refundable. 
Throwing caution to the winds, Jude heads down to Devon, eager to immerse herself in the literature and heal her broken heart. But there is one problem, six foot tall, brooding but gorgeous, Elliot, who also reserved the bookshop holiday for two weeks. As Jude and Elliot put their differences aside to run the bookshop, it seems that Jude might be falling in love with more than just words, until she discovers what Elliot is running from and why he's hiding out in clove lore. Can Jude find her own happy ending in a tiny tumble-down bookshop, or is she about to find out that her bookish holiday might have an unexpected twist in the tale? So it's the perfect cozy romantic read for any bookworm. Okay, um, this will absolutely be a palate cleanser book for me. Um, romance novels are usually not my thing, uh, but every now and then I need, like, something heartwarming because I read a lot of dark and depressing literature, and this is definitely cute and bookish, so I will definitely get to it at some point, but it's not going to be on the top of my list. This is very cute, though. This, like, looks like a book I should be reading on the beach. Um, I love that. Anyway, let's go through the spoiler card. The Borrow a Bookshop. I don't know why it looks so weird spelled like that. Jeez. Borrow, borrow, borrow. Okay. So let's go through the spoiler card. Okay, so this month's theme is Bibliophile. Okay, so we get the Beach Read Body Spray, uh, the Midnight Library Perfume Roller, which is based off of Journey to the Midnight Library. Which is, in, ugh, which is inspired by the novel by Matt Haig. I feel like I've heard of that, but I don't know. Again, I think it's weird that we got a perfume and a body spray, but whatever. The library scene book sleeve. I've definitely seen that design before. Okay, Outlander Ceramic Bowl. That's incorrect. The last one was Outlander, so I don't know what the theme is for this bowl. Um, hmm. And then the Alchemist Bookends, uh, which is based off of the novel The Alchemist um, and the journey of Santiago as he travels in Egypt where he learns about himself and what life means. And then obviously we get the Borrow a Bookshop. Okay, so they um, totally redesigned the cover, completely redesigned the cover. The original cover looks like you're very typical, like, um, romance novel book with like a woman looking at a bookshop. Um, okay. Very cool. And do they have any hints for next month? They do not seem to. But no, this is definitely not Outlander. And I don't know what it's supposed to be. If anybody knows what it's supposed to be in the comments down below, let me know. Uh, I'm a little underwhelmed with this box, and I'm gonna really go in depth as to why. So this is supposed to be our bibliophile box, right? It's supposed to be like super bookish focused. This makes perfect sense. The book is actually something I am on par with, like this makes sense to me. Um, I love the idea of like sense based off of, I guess the book, as well as like something bookish. But I just don't love that they are both body scents. Um, I think that bookish body scents, I feel like this could have been a linen spray or something else. I don't know. But that is a little strange. Like a chapstick. I don't know. It could have been something else. Um, I just feel like that was very, very redundant. I want to know what the bowl is. Sorry, I put it back in the box. Is it... It's It's got to be one of those like Greek books that I've never read before, right? Like... Um, was the call of Achilles or Circe or something like that because it, it's it's like a Roman style dude and some woman and I have no idea what it is but this does not tell me online what it is and I don't know um, and so now I have a bowl and I don't even know what the fandom is but at least it matches with my previous bowl um, I like book sleeves I've gotten many book sleeves from them before I think they're really cool and practical I have seen this scene before um, with these hidden fandoms with the white tree of Gondor and the um, I believe it's Game of Thrones and Beauty and the Beast. Like, I've seen this image before, so I don't love having it again on something else. I really wish they had done something different, but I do think that the quality of this book sleeve is really nice. Um, and then the bookends. The bookends are kind of strange because I feel like they just don't quite go together. I feel like all the other bookends that we've gotten from them, like, make sense. It's, like, a pair, but I feel like it's just, like, oh, like... Egyptian gods and then like weird quote like it just doesn't fit 
for me. So definitely not my favorite. Again, happy I have these because I love these bookends. I think they're so practical. Um, but I just don't love the overall design on them. I like the bast side. I don't like the other side. So underwhelmed with this box. Definitely, definitely underwhelmed with this box. And I really want to know what that bowl is. So if you know what the bowl is, please, please, please let me know. Um, anyways, I'm super, super, super excited for the Twisted Retreat box. So cannot wait to see what they're doing with that. But like this could have been a candle. I mean, I know they don't do candles in the summer months, but this could have been a candle. Probably would have made sense to smell a candle, you know, with like the scents that we have, whatever. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Hopefully somebody will help me figure out the bowl. Um, and hopefully next month's will be a little bit more impressive, but I do feel like I'm going to read and then enjoy the book. So at least I have that. Anyways, that is all that I have. Oh, and last thing, like the bookcases, the book sleeve, the book all feel very bookish. And then like, I guess you could get away with like one of these being like scented like a book, but like the bowl and then another body spray, that doesn't scream bookish to me. For a bibliophile thing, I would have thought it would have been like more like book. You know, like we got reading lights recently in um, one of our boxes. Like I feel like that should have been in here. I feel like that would have made more sense. I don't know, I'm complaining a lot because um, I am a little underwhelmed with this box, but that is that. Anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. As always, I post every Monday and Thursday, sometimes on Saturdays. And if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below and I will catch you all in the next one. Mwah.